Suppose you have a positively charged particle A held near a negatively charged particle B and a neutrally charged particle C. Theoretically, particle A will be attracted towards particle B as the law of attraction and repulsion dictates. But in the atomic model of Niels Bohr, we can see that instead of electron, the neutrally charged neutron group together with a positively charged proton to form the nucleus. But how is this possible? That's what we're going to find out. Brought to light in 1911 by Ernest Rutherford, the atomic nucleus is a tiny compressed region consisting of protons and neutrons at the center of the atom. The nucleons are joined together by a strong force called as the nuclear binding force or energy expressed in mega electron volt. The binding energy is also the energy required for the nucleus to split into fragments of nucleons. As the size of the nucleus increases, it becomes more unstable and hence the radioactive nature of the heavier elements. That is why it is important to know the nuclear binding force between the nucleons to ascertain whether the fission or the fusion of the particles is favorable or not. Let's take for example the atom calcium with atomic mass 40.078 atomic mass unit or AMU. To compute the sum of the masses of the constituent parts, multiply the number of neutrons by the mass of one neutron, multiply the number of protons by the mass of one proton, then add the products. Subtract the actual mass, which is always lesser, from the total mass of its constituent parts. Using Einstein's formula for special relativity, E equals mc squared, where E is the binding energy, M is for mass defect, C is for the speed of light, which is a constant value, we can compute the mass energy equivalence. This gives us 3.603 times 10 raised to negative 11 joules. The law of conservation of mass and the law of conservation of energy set forth that mass energy is individually conserved in all the processes of physical science, but both the reacting system and its surroundings must be taken into account. To convert the binding energy to MeV per nucleon, we will employ the conversion factor for converting joules into MeV and the number of nucleons which make up the nucleus. Therefore, the binding energy for calcium is 5.623 MeV per nucleon. The greater the value of mass defect, the higher the binding energy, the more stable the nucleus. Nucleons form relationship as they seek stability, and this is possible because of nuclear binding energy.